uh, Suresh Kumar Singhal, Senior Vice President, FCCI. Uh, Uh, now I request. Uh, now. Uh, good morning, everybody. <coughs> well, it's uh, indeed a moment of great uh, pleasure and privilege for me to welcome you all for this particular workshop on ATA Carne, facilitating green channel route for doing business in India and abroad. Uh, well, uh, we have uh, we have honored to have uh, Mr. D.P. Naidu, IRS Principal Commissioner, Hyderabad Customs Commissioner, with us. Thank you, sir, so much Thank, uh, for kindly joining us today. Mr. Satish Kumar Reddy, Mr. Suresh Kumar Singhal, Mr. Chek uh, uh, officials from uh, FTCCI, my colleagues from FIKI, and. Uh, and participants from Active Telugu Film Producers Guild, ATFPG, uh, and friends from media. Thank you so much for joining us. On behalf of Vicky, I truly really welcome you for this particular workshop. Well, uh, I'm sure Vicky doesn't need any introduction, but some of you, those who are not familiar with Vicky, we are the National Chamber of Commerce, uh, the Apex Chamber of Commerce. Uh, uh, instituted with the blessings of uh, Mahatma Gandhi, the father of nation in 1927. And we have been since uh, then working in, on, in uh, towards nation building. And we work towards, of course, policy advocacy and trade facilitation. And uh, we have a lot of members, Pan India. And since we are federation of chambers, so a lot of sectoral association and regional chambers, they are our members. So I'm happy to share that FTCCI is one of the important member bodies uh, in the southern India with us and we have been doing a lot of programs with uh, our partner members and just like today's program which we are doing in partnership with FTCCI. One is the domestic market and another is the exports. For exports it provides, it adds to the trade, economy, employment, prosperity and also the culture. So it's an important aspect that any organization look at. Well, there are a number of uh, tools, number of ways in which an organization engages in doing the business of export and import. One of the commonly most uh, utilized method is participation through exhibition and trade fairs for promotion of the ex export uh, related activities. Well, uh, once uh, the organization participated at various uh, fairs at, at different parts of the globe, there are a lot of uh, avenues which get opened up for them. For instance, they are able to source their joint venture partners, strategic partners, distributors. It also adds to the investments coming into the country. But for participation in such uh, activities, one is also required to carry and exhibit samples of the products and the solutions which they, uh, they create. And this is all on temporary importation basis. But uh, and without having to pay any once again welcome you all and look forward to a very interactive discussion. Thank you so much. I extend a warm welcome to Shri D.P. Naiduji, uh, Principal Commissioner, Custom, Hyderabad Commissionerate. Thank you, sir. I also extend a warm welcome to Mr. Satish Kumar Reddyji, Trade Facilitation Expert and Consultant at Asian Development Bank. Thank you, sir, for your participation. I also extend a warm welcome to colleagues from the Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, distinguished guests and delegates. It gives me great pleasure to address you all at this gathering. The Federation of Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industry has organized this workshop event to bring awareness to a very crucial document, ADA Carnet. We, the Federation of Telangana Chamber of Commerce and Industry, are elated to collaborate with FIKI to bring awareness to the ADA Carnet document that gives a good opportunity to conduct business promotions on international platforms. 
IRS Principal Commissioner, Hyderabad National Commissioner, and also Mr. Satish Shetty, who came from Delhi all the way for this program. He's also the former Commissioner of Customs and GST, and currently is in responsible positions on ADB and also in the trade presentation expert and consultant. So we want to hear more from them. So uh, it's a little unfair on my part to talk anything on the ADA comment. Nevertheless, uh, since the opportunity is there, uh, our Federation of Telangana Chamber of Commerce and Industry, with a membership of around 3,500 industry and business members, they're very strong in the in India, and uh, we're also incidentally uh, partnering with the uh, Wiki. Uh, being a member of association as one association. My relation with Vicky goes a long way. Uh, and the former uh, child person, uh, Mrs. Sangeeta Reddy, who hailed from our own Hyderabad. I've been very active in her uh, leadership uh, in multiple sectors. And also J. Shaudhary was also heading here in Vicky a long time ago. I was part of the team. Then Avia Krishnarayar was there with the agriculture uh, secretary those days. Uh, I was part of his core team. And several initiatives like Food 360. I was reminding uh, Mr. Sumit Gupta today. Uh, <coughs> by the way, uh, Mr. Sumit Gupta, uh, Deputy Secretary General, and uh, Mr. Vijay Lakshmi, the Director. Thank you very much uh, for this opportunity. Want to similarly bring something and send it back, or you want to send commercial samples, right? That's another uh, possibility. Third, there is an event. For example, right now, uh, Cricket World Cup is going on. Imagine the amount of equipment that will come in. TV cameras, broadcasting equipment, sound equipment, a huge amount of international press come, they bring their own cameras and other things. How do you conduct customs formalities for all this equipment? You know, to, 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 we just read that India is going to bid for 2036 Olympics. So imagine the kind of equipment that comes and goes purely on a temporary basis. If everything you have to file a bill of entry, get it assessed, maybe give bond, bank guarantee, then send it back, release BG, it's going to be very, very cumbersome. So, countries world over have decided that for any such temporary movements, there should be an easy instrument. You don't have to go through the national formalities of each country, right? You know, or you want to take it to another country for similar purposes, commercial samples, professional use like this, as I said, the press or a TV equipment. Even repairs, refurbishing, though that's not covered uh, under the Indian carne, but it, many countries allow that, job work, etc. So, temporary admission can be of goods, can be of vehicles also, and, but we will cover goods in, in, in this uh, session. Now, what are the peculiar features is that they are often brought by foreign entities. Suppose you are taking your machine for exhibition to Germany, you don't have whatever is that IEC code in Germany, right? You can't take an IEC code and then file a bill of entry. So you might even hand carry it. If it's not a big item, you will hand carry it uh, for uh, a commercial sample. So you need to be able to clear customs and go into the country without having to go through all these IEC or bill of entry kind of formalities. Similarly, you may want to take it through a number of countries, not just one country. You go to Europe, you want to cover three, four countries. I think I understand that uh, the film industry, like particularly the Hindi film industry uses this. So maybe they want to shoot in Switzerland, Austria, and two, three countries. So you have to not just go to one country, but cross borders. So can we think of one instrument in which you can go to multiple countries and come back? So India became part of this in 1989. Remember I said this convention existed from 1961. We became part in 89. So even we have an experience of 30 almost 34 years of being in Karni. So that's what is uh, somewhat surprising that in 34 years, uh, the uptake or the popularity seems still very low. The fact that only two hands were raised when I said who has used this after 34 years is very surprising. Worldwide by the World ATA Karni Council, uh, which is uh, part of um, International uh, Chamber of uh, Commerce based in Paris in association with the World Customs Organization. Uh, it is basically uh, the initiative of uh, public-private uh, partnership. Uh, as already Mr. Reddy mentioned, there are 79 countries, and in every country, 
largest chain that has been authorized by the government uh, to facilitate ATA carnets in that country. Uh, responsible and um, it's closely working with uh, CBIC uh, for its uh, smooth operation and uh, administration of uh, ATA carnet system in India. And Piki is also closely worked with uh, working with World ATA Carnet Council and also the um, 78. Uh, uh, part 79 partner um, uh, member countries uh, for the seamless um, operation worldwide. Um, as Mr. Satish already mentioned, uh, FICI's uh, main responsibility is um, uh, guaranteeing the payment of uh, duties and taxes in the country of um, import and uh, India. So these are the 79 uh, member countries list. Uh, he has briefed uh, how it works and all. Uh, basically, it works as a financial uh, guarantee um, in the um, countries of uh, import and uh, the important thing is like the document need to be presented at every customs point in India and in the countries of uh, import which is uh, very important and also goods have to be re-exported back within the time limit uh, fixed by the foreign customs at the time of uh, importation which is very important otherwise uh, duty becomes payable um, in the country of import. So the carnet holder has to uh, follow the procedures and the obligations uh, to be uh, followed um, in all countries. Mr. Sumit Kumar Gupta from FIKI, Suresh Kumar Singhal and Mr. Chakravarti from FTCCI, Mr. Vijay Lakshmi and the delegates here and the representatives from the trade and industry. You had a detailed presentation on ATI Carnet and how it works, what are the eligible items for import or export and who are using the facility. But my experience in Hyderabad customs are what we had seen. Only mainly media or cinema entertainment sector is using this, not much in other sectors. And But major use was last time when there was a formula racing held here. A lot of uh, cars were imported and then again uh, uh, re-exported. That was the major event where Hyderabad it was used, Hyderabad Customs. The otherwise, as I said, a uh, few from the cinema industry or entertainment industry or media are there using mainly through the Hyderabad air cargo complex. Maybe with this awareness uh, campaign or the program, maybe more and more uh, uh, representatives or trade or industry would be professionals would be using this facility, uh, which would facilitate them to take abroad the equipment or their goods and then bring it back within the period or to encourage their trade partners abroad to bring their goods or services for the purpose of maybe exhibition trade or professional purpose. So that would be, this would be a very good uh, scheme. Uh, Further, uh, as at uh, Hyderabad Customs, uh, on behalf of Vicky and from the government side, I would like to assure you that we would be in the forefront in facilitating any ADA carne or any other uh, trade facilitation for the purpose of import or export. Uh, Hyderabad Customs is always at the forefront. And in this regard, I would like to just uh, mention uh, about the time release study conducted uh, recently in July, uh, where Hyderabad Air Cargo Complex was uh, ranked number one in imports and number two in exports as far as the dwell time or the clearance time taken for the import of the goods and the goods. So we would like to maintain the same uh, uh, trend and maybe get number one in exports also for our uh, air cargo. And Hyderabad Customs, apart from the air cargo, international airport, there are two ICDs, inland con uh, container depots at Sanatnagar and uh, Timapur and also with two container freight stations at Kukatpalli and also at Muttangi. Uh, managed by BATCO and uh, CWC. Of course, we have ICD at uh, Timapur. And there is an international courier uh, terminal for, uh, as of now, uh, for export at uh, international airport. And shortly, we are facilitating courier for imports also. As of now, import courier comes from Bangalore. But maybe within the next uh, few weeks, maybe two to three weeks or four weeks, international courier terminal for imports also would be operating uh, from Hyderabad International Airport. So, if you see uh, maybe a change like uh, whatever various great facilitation measures, including ATA Karne, where India is one of the one of the oldest uh, signatory to that uh, convention, a lot of great facilitation measures have been taken by the Indian Customs Department as part of Government of India reforms, part of uh, maybe trade liberalisation or globalisation. 
you see over the last 30, 35 years, maybe a lot of changes have come where customs department has reinvented itself, re-engineered its processes, various processes for, processes for import, export, and taken a lot of multitude measures to facilitate, facilitate cross-border trade, maybe border management with the different agencies, border management in the, sense, in the economic frontiers of the country, not the security. Uh, part of security, but mainly economic frontiers of the country. Starting from the electronic data EDI system, that's the electronic portal for import-export, maybe risk management system, where instead of physical examination of each and every consignment, most of the 90% of the consignments are cleared through the system, that is, it's called risk management system. System identifies and gives clearance. Only few cases system selects for examination or assessment. So more than 90% of the trade is facilitated through this RMS. Then, of course, we have self-assessment where importers or exporters, they only do their assessment. So with that RMS and the self-assessment, more as I said, more than 90% uh, gets cleared. And part of the uh, ease of doing business, a lot of other measures have been adopted. Latest being the Turant Customs, where SWIFT mechanism, e sanction SWIFT, Swift is uh, where various agencies, no, Customs acts as an interface for various other uh, agencies for uh, trade facility, facilitation of trade. Like you have various partner agencies in, in import or export. Let us say maybe a drug controller comes, then quarantine, plant quarantine, animal quarantine, then food safety authority, FASAI we call. So various port health authorities, various agencies are involved there. So customs brought them all in one single platform so that an online clearance can be facilitated by everybody instead of going around to different agencies. ATA card is the exhibitions, various events, commercial samples, various countries, and the crowd is going to be used. In every country, there are customs declarations, bank guarantees, and paper. There are many different things. 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 Year work by it kelly this crowds and goods. The man in country of Fiki or Nishu Jasser and approaches this kelly. The man goods in very chala countries of this kelly within one year. Exhibit chase cani, akada samples of Jupiter cani, when a theory also customs duties page in Australia, the guarantee of Australia. This is the main advantage. ये चला हंड्रेड कंट्री सेंटे अंतर यूरोप अंतर कवर्ड हो अमेरिका कवर्ड एंड इंडिया लोग माना एशिया लोगों का चाइना जापान कोरिया थाईलैंड मलेशिया इंडोनेशिया इन्हें मेन ऑस्ट्रेलिया न्यूजीलैंड हंड्रेड कंट्री सेंटे मानो ट्रेडिंग इंपोर्ट एक्सपोर्ट जैसे मेन कंट्रीज अन्य कवर्ड प्रपंच में अब तक का प्रतिशत आउटस्टोर ऑलमोस्ट 26 बिलियन डॉलर्स वर्थ गुड्स दिन लो ट्रांसैक्ट होते हैं। मान इंडिया लेको फिल्म इंडस्ट्री तरह तो कैपिटल गुड्स मशीनरी भी लेको यूज़ जैसे ना जेम्स एंड ज्वेलरी ये लेको यूज़ जैसे ना तो कहीं रेस सेक्टर है ना यूज़ जैसे रिस्ट्रिक्शन्स